What is up everybody and welcome to Super Mario Sunshine. So, we have a quick disclaimer here as you can see. Uh, there are a lot more shines in file number B than there were last time when we played this. We might we might take a break and get some of the ones off camera that I've not been able to do on camera. But not now. Not right now. That's, that's time crunch. Alright, peace out. So, I may or may not have uh, gone and done all of the sucky ones, which were literally like all of them up until this point. So we're gonna just kind of finish this game now. If you actually notice that we skipped, uh, I, I applaud you. Yeah, no, seriously. Because I don't even remember what the last number was. I, I really don't either. It was like 40 <laughs> some. I got, I got a ton of oh, shines. Nice. It took me like two hours to do. Mm. That's two hours and we don't have to post on YouTube. Let's go. Okay, so are we doing story time as normal? This might be one of the last yeah. ones. All right, Dalton. How's it going? <laughs> wow, good story time. So let's see. You're summer now. Yeah, I'm in summer. So we need Bianco Hills, uh, Pianta Village, Noki Bay, Sirena Beach. Not of them. No, those are the ones we need the Shadow Mario on. Okay. So let's go to Bianco. Oh, is that all we need? Yeah, that's all we need to finish. Oh wow. Yeah, I I, I set this up so we just do these and then the finale episode. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, let me pull out the lists and stuff. Yeah, we, we've uh, devolved into um, making kind of like lists about our stories. <laughs> what the? Justin Boys uploaded Minecraft! Ah, gamer! Woo! <laughs> Not Fortnite! It's ah, so long! Gamer Zone 42069! Nice! Ooh. Yeah, it's, um, it's interesting. <laughs> Oh, you know, that was really? good. Go watch our Minecraft live stream, yeah. It wasn't bad. It was very uh, political, but, you know, if you what that? isn't? Okay, sorry, I was running into a wall there. Holy crap, okay. Hmm. Um, oh, what? Talk about Little League Baseball. Me? Yes, Okay. On your list. So, basically, I wasn't... What the frick? Uh, my Little League Baseball, I did baseball in like freaking third grade in the, uh, our town's league, or our county's league or something. It was the worst thing I've ever experienced, so it can be summed up by two of our coaches got arrested and one of them quit because the team was useless. So, um, basically, let, let's see, what kind of wacky hijinks happened? One, one coach got arrested for beating his son, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm literally not even kidding. <laughs> uh, one of them got arrested for dealing drugs literally at the baseball stadium. We watched him get arrested. That was an interesting day. Um, that coach's son got arrested for literally trying to fight the umpire. Like, I'm, he squared up with him and tried to fist fight him. Oh, wow. And the umpire was going to fight back, and I was prepared to see some action, and then they just kicked him out of the game. It was boring. Uh -huh. Um, let's see, the, happen. our third coach that we were on got, her, uh, he didn't get arrested. He quit because he didn't like the team. Um... <laughs> And then we are on the fourth coach, which is literally one of the parents. That was only for, like, a mm. few days until mm. the end of the season. But I also watched some kid try to fight another kid with a baseball bat. Do you know Jeremiah Webb? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, yeah, he's he's a short, fat kid that's, like, just, um, yeah. He, he's a little temperamental. He, he played on our tennis team. Mm. Hold it, Shadow Mario. I what? also did... Um, like Little League, whenever I was, I think it was, it was like first grade or something. It sucked. Like I was like left field because I was not good at baseball <laughs> at same, all. Same. Um, <laughs> but we were sponsored by Dairy Shed, so after every game, whether win or lose, mostly lose, we went to Dairy Shed, and that's the only thing that really kept me in it. But for some reason, I just got so bored and done with baseball that I quit, and. That is literally the only, like, sport or something that I have quit. You know? For everything else, I've stuck through it, but baseball was just so awful that I literally could not do it anymore. It was just so boring, and it still is. It's still, like, one of my least favorite sports. We were sponsored by Coughlin Cars, yet we still went to Dairy Shed. <laughs> but you didn't get any free cars? I was gonna what say. What was it all for? <laughs> Our parents got free insurance, but it wasn't because... <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't because of the sponsorship. It was just because the, the co one of the coaches that got arrested was probably, like, hiding it. Mm. But yeah, my parents still felt bad because that was the first organized sport that I ever did. And they are mm. like, we're so sorry we had to put you through that. Because that put me, like, off of organized sports for, like, the rest of my childhood. Mm. Or The only, like, organized sports that I really did um, in, like, elementary school it was uh, 
freaking upwards basketball. Oh, I did that too. That and was bad. boy, upwards. Uh, that is one of those everyone wins type of things where they don't even keep the score until you're like in fifth grade. They didn't so. kept. They didn't keep the score when I played soccer, but we apparently were undefeated the entire season, which was interesting. Hmm. So I don't know why they didn't keep the score. It's a mystery. Yeah, upwards is special. I mean, it's it's like a good ministry. It's for the special kids. It's a good ministry to like reach out to like kids about Jesus and stuff. But my lessons of Jesus in the middle of the soccer game. We did pray uh, at the mm -hmm. beginning, which yeah. I did like because it is a good influence. But yeah. um, what? Oh, he died. We'll see. I also did basketball in sixth grade for the good old school of mine. Uh, I wasn't that bad. I was like a second starter or something. Oh, jeez, I was terrible at basketball. Oh, I basketball is the one sport that I probably could play. Um, but I don't know. I just don't. I didn't know the rules as well as I would like to have. Did so you get those stars in basketball? In upwards, we did. Where you got to like iron them on your shirt. Yeah, that was upwards. I remember uh, the only thing I remember about upwards is my basketball coach saying, "You know, if there was a star for talkativity, I'd give that one to you." <laughs> what? <laughs> Because apparently, I just constantly <laughs> talked to the coach and annoyed the crap out of him. I don't, that's one way to do it. Good thing I don't do that one anymore, huh, guys? <laughs> yeah, apparently they like you talking now. I was gonna say, at least my talking is intelligent. <laughs> Somewhat. Hmm. <laughs> hmm, can you get the sunglasses yet? Um, that's a good question. Is it this guy? No, it's that one down there. Is it this guy? No, it's the, the guy that I was at. I love this. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot better. Here, let's... What? It's dark now. Okay. Yeah, because of the sunglasses. Here, I can't zoom in on Mario's face, dang it. They're gonna make a thumbnail. Oh, uh, I'll find one. This is, this is not better. It just makes the screen darker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it better on my eyes. Nice. Well, we're anyway, not... let's go, uh, yeah, to that next room. Oh, uh, let's see. I did have another story. I think we're in Sirena, which I have no idea where it is. Mm. Uh, um, okay. So, uh, the next two stories that I have are both about, um, my freshman year, and I guess junior year science teacher at Circleville, mm. so. We had a guy named Mr. Lamb. If you're at Circleville or have ever seen Mr. Lamb, he's like... A hippie stoner mixed with like a quantum physicist. It's like the weirdest combo ever. Wow. <laughs> Our final project for what should have been senior year physics was literally launching a rocket. So it was like, if you didn't do it, you're freaking stupid, but you failed. <laughs> it's not rocket science. I mean, <laughs> is this Sirena? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Shadow Mario? I think he's in the hotel. Oh, probably. Um, but anyway, we were doing some experiment one day about like. It was like gravity and velocity, and we were launching these like air pressurized rockets up into the air and seeing about how high they went. I have no freaking idea. I think we calculated it by time. But it was foggy the morning that we did it. Oh, yeah. So they shot up and just disappeared into the fog, and we had no idea where they went. And into the void they go. About got hit like several times. What the heck? Why are there booze disguised as Mario? That's evil. Yeah, like that's a freaking. Why do they look so weird in this game, though? Because they... I don't know. They, they wanted to make them different than 64, I guess. I mean, what they the did do that. I was gonna say, it's not the good kind of different. Anyway, your science teacher. That was, uh... Yeah. That was Two it. kids about got hit by the rockets. Like, it was literally, like, feet away from one and inches away from the other. It was... It was genuinely terrifying. He's like, don't get hit now. I have to fill out some paperwork. We don't want that. <laughs> Uh, I had a very um, special science teacher in my 8th grade year, uh, his name, well, no. Yeah, his name was Mr. Conrad, if you know who that is. I know who Mr. Conrad uh, is. <laughs> oh boy, uh, let's just say we learned more Bible in that than in our Bible class. Like, we learned about the flood, and about the creation, mm -hmm. and about how the eclipse that happened that year signified that the end of the world was upon us. Oh. Um, a lot of interesting stuff, <laughs> okay. which really put us at a huge disadvantage this year, starting science. Uh, well, I guess last year, because that's over now. So our freaking science teacher this year made us do Moe all year, 
to catch up for what we didn't, like, learn in 8th grade. Because we literally did nothing in 8th grade. He had us make a test, and, like, we'd all, like, put answers together, and then that would just be the final for our class. It was just a mess. Oh, and we'd have to do skits. That, that's, that's, like, that'd be our major test grade, just skits in science. It was so weird. But at the same time, it was great, because... I've had senioritis since eighth grade. <laughs> Same. As in, I don't. I, I'm just done with school. Uh, but so yeah, I didn't really have to work much, and I still aced that class. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then we'd have last period study halls, and we'd just go to his room because he didn't care what we did. And this one time, me and this other other student, Hayden, uh, he was like, Hayden, I think that you should punch me. I said, uh, okay. So I punched him in the face, and then some other student got it on video, and he's like, hey, delete that. So then I'm like, oh, I don't get in trouble with the school. <laughs> and then it wasn't deleted, and I think it's still... Uh, if I find it, I'll send it to you to put it in. But, yeah, he really did not care at all what we did. Yeah, okay, if, if you have it, put it in here. Mm hmm Okay, you probably didn't have it, but it's yeah. alright. I, I, I can ask Vegas for it. But anyway, uh, we did like this, these discipleship periods that same year. And he taught the comic class, which how that relates to discipleship, Here I do goes. not know. He's going into the final door. Oh, let's go. We're gonna get other shines that aren't required because mm -hmm. I don't want to go to this one yet. But okay. But anyway, um, he freaking. Oh, yeah. So we had like a science class. Whoa. No, discipleship comics, and like we made our own comic or something. And we spent like a bunch of time doing that, and then it went into nothing because they realized that that really wasn't teaching us anything about discipleship. So they abandoned that idea, and it was lost forever. <laughs> wow! But nice. we had a really good idea. We had like a whole storyline planned out, and like a hundred issues with like different storylines and stuff, and like unique characters. So it would have been really cool, but we just didn't have like the means to actually make it. But I don't know. All right, your turn. Do you have any? Good stories. Um, oh yes, the other story I had with Mr. Lamb. Um, so in our freshman year science class, we had a dude in our class named Cameron Banks, and he was a little bit of um, Cameron Banks. Yeah, he he was like, I don't know what was quite wrong with him, but he was um he, he was just one of those kids, the trouble trouble students. Um, but anyway, yeah. So uh, he threw. He was like, you watch this, guys, I'm Kobe Johnson, and threw a <laughs> stick of deodorant at the trash can, and it missed, and hit the, the floor. Who the frick is Kobe Johnson? I don't know, is he just a basketball Did player? Did mean Kobe Bryant? Probably. <laughs> he said that. I'm not, I know that much. I'm not much. a basketball <laughs> player. Okay, okay, good. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> um, he freaking uh, threw the stick of deodorant at the trash can, and it missed. Mm -hmm. And it exploded on the floor and went into like a million different pieces like all over the floor mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Lamb is pissed off. He's like come on man. What are you doing? <laughs> and um, so he goes over to his cabinet pulls out a tuning fork and goes Hey Cameron, have you ever seen a nipshit magnet? <laughs> and Cameron's like yo, what's that? <laughs> He's like well, it's a magnet that detects nipshits and he <laughs> <laughs> he, he knocks Cameron's head like really hard <laughs> and Cameron like freaking was like, oh, what'd you do that for? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was great and it, it made a sound. He's like, see, I detected a nip shit. All right, back to lesson or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened after that. <laughs> it was beautiful. That's great. Can you, get, can you not get the rocket nozzle? I can. It's just I have to use the Chucky to get through the window. Oh, okay. Um, oh, another question about New Hope. I remember these teachers. Did you ever have, um, let's see, I believe... Oh, wait, wait, before you say that, you know Miss McGinnis? I do know Miss McGinnis. Her house got completely destroyed in the Seriously? Tornado. Yeah. Dang. So we, we had, um, her, we had her final exam the day after the tornado. Oh, uh, uh, back on info, uh, our town had, like, this big tornado hit us, uh, like, I don't know, a while ago. Kind of like drug, drug like meetings ago. this. To, uh, anyway, and I was, you know, I was coming in for my final for history. I was like a little late, so I was kind of worried about it. But our choir teacher was in there, like handing out the test. I was like, uh, what? Turns out her house, when well, she lives with her parents, her house got completely Wait, annihilated. Dang. 
I feel really bad at the same time that's freaking hilarious. How is that hilarious? Because, <laughs> I don't know. He just is. I don't know. I'm <laughs> just a psychopath. Yeah, anyway, probably. back to... <laughs> anyway, uh, what were you going to say? Um, Teachers. Let's see. I'm try I can't even remember her name now, dang it, but it was... Um, what did she teach? She taught my English, or 7th grade English. Remyon? No. Uh, let's see, there's Miss Nunnally. Did you ever have her? Freaking no. I liked Miss Nunnally. Like, a lot of people didn't, but she and I just kind of clicked for some reason. Mm. Um, she was like Miss B minus almost. Or no, Miss B plus, because Miss B was kind of bad. Mm. Um, That's also like rage she gave everyone or something. Like no. Miss B plus. Well, she was, she <laughs> was kind of harsh. <laughs> she was kind of harsh, but like, she liked me for some reason. Oh, you gotta get the rocket. I know you do, but I think I already got that star. Oh um, yeah, we did. Let's see. Crap! No, I can't even remember. It was like... Freaking Miss McGinnis in your house. Yeah, that's funny, Oh, that's man. 15 if you want to stop her right here. Um, I think, yeah, I, I want to remember this. So... Okay, let's finish this story. Well, we'll just cut to where I remember. Yeah. Miss Bostic, there it is. Okay. Miss Bostic. All right, thank you for coming up with that in the instant that. Yes, we, yes. Yeah. Did you did you ever have Miss Bostic? No. Okay, screen. <laughs> Never mind. All right, in the episode. <laughs> All right, bye, gamers. <laughs>